Um, I shredded the outside edges of my brand new front tires at Laguna Seca with my RS3. <clears throat> Have the 034 rear sway bar and subframe inserts. Will the camera plates help with this while keeping good ride quality? Um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, all the above. We made this product for you. So, um, you know, you are shredding the outside of your tires because uh, from, you know, stock, the tire, if this is your contact patch, it's sitting very flat on the road. What happens is when you're going down the corkscrew or going through any of the turns at Laguna Seca, your car leans, and so if this is your car, this is the outside of the tire, your flat tire is now leaning. So your entire contact patch is on the outside edge of your tire. Uh, yeah. your, your tire is not designed to work um, you know, with, with all the traction patch on the, essentially the sidewall of the tire. So by, by putting in a camber plate, your tire will sit more like this. And so when you go into the corner, your tire will sit flat on the track and you'll be using the whole contact patch. Yep. Our camber plates are fixed. They, they give you um, kind of the maximum, most optimal amount of camber that you could get by installing a product like that. Yeah. Um, it, it will greatly improve your tire life. It will greatly improve your speed and traction through corners. It will transform the way the car steers going through corners. Um, we've had a number of uh, ETRS and RS3 customers tell us that our fixed camera plates were the most impactful mod they made to the car's handling by far, even more than a sway bar. Uh, so yeah, I highly recommend it. It won't change the ride quality at all, um, but um, it's a great mod. We run them on all our in-house cars. Um, that camera does transform the way the car handles. So, so our, our fixed camera plates will increase NVH some amount. And it, Typically not bad. It's typically, um, I'm, I'm, you know, at my advanced age, I'm pretty sensitive to NVH these days. Um, I, you know, when I was, when I was 20, I had a car that the suspension was so stiff that it would crack my windshield every, every three or four months. And I, that was a badge of honor. I would never drive a car like that now. No. Um, and, uh, no, so I, I don't think they're bad. I think it's well worth it but we do use a stiffer rubber in, in the strut mounts. And, and so that does create some MVH, but as far as clunking or clicking or, you know, sounds like that, no, they should not be. And we have not observed those sounds here in our cars. We install these several times a week in our service departments. And this is not a new product to us. And uh, we do hear customers say that they, they're experiencing some type of noise and it typically goes back to some kind of insulation issue or, or torquing strut not properly things like that um, so yeah no, yeah because there, there are some tools needed to really get the proper torque on that top yeah. nut so yep 